Tech Tips with Mr. Shrank. Um, today I'll be showing you how to access your parent portal and student portal um, from the website. And so first off, foremost, you just go to the Garrison School website, garrison.k12.sd.us. And we're going to click our menu button here and, and have all of our icons come up. Under Students and Parents, the very first one is Infinite Campus Portal. Click that. And this is where you're going to get your login or put your login information. If you do not have any login information, this is what um, uh, you have to call the school and set up through um, Narinda, or you can email myself, um, and and we can get you set up with a campus parent portal. Every student is given a student portal as well um, when they when they um, uh, come to school here. Uh, that is usually set up by myself, where Narinda usually sets up the campus parent. So what we'll take a look at first is the camp campus parent side. Um, as you get to the first time you're logging in there sometimes you'll have to do a captcha code which will it'll, you'll put in your username or password and then it'll ask you again to do it and there's random letters and numbers um, but I will go ahead and log in under my own and log in under parent portal um, what you'll see in here is if there's any messages that are sent out through campus which we don't use that a lot teachers um, will normally make a personal phone call or a or or we'll use our information um, system to uh, send that out to you through our website um, but if there is anything that, that you'll see it there so um, if you have more than one student you can go ahead and click up here and and go through each one of your kids um, it'll show how much uh, money that you have in your account any assignments that are coming up due today or tomorrow um, it'll also give uh, their class schedule um, and everything else. Mine looks a little bit different since I just have a preschooler, so the, it'll look different if you have an elementary student compared to middle school or high school student. Um, but you can go ahead and look on here in the calendar and upcoming days that um, are maybe off or that we have um, coming. So for instance, if you click on February 17th, um, it's a holiday. It, it, it's listed up there. And so um, many of these will have on there that there's an in-service, parent-teachers conferences, um, spring break, so anything that has a dot, we, we have that loaded ahead of time, so you can kind of look at the schedule ahead of time. Under assignments, again, if there's any upcoming assignments that are available, you can click on. Grades tab is a big one. If there's any, um, you can check your students' grades. Now, sometimes um, these go off of the posted grades, so normally we post our grades every Monday by 11 to run our grades report, and so that's this is a, this is a place you, you can go and get that there. Um, attendance, you can take a look at um, how often your child is is gone or absent or tardy for a day. Um, if they're sick or anything like that, you can go out here and look at that per quarter. Um, you can look at their schedule. Um, and then also if there is any um, food service on here, you can go ahead and, and um, add um, money. Oh, I'm sorry, add um, money to accounts based just right on here. You'll have to have your... Um, account set up under my accounts, which you'll have to put in your, you know, debit card information or credit card information and all of that. Um, but you can add that right to your account right from this page, which is something that wasn't normally um, able to do in the past. Um, fees won't show up on this page. Um, reports you can cl you can click that and you can print off the schedule and it comes in in more of a PDF format um, and you can you can look at it there. Um, other than that, there's not there's there's not a lot in here, um, but if there's anything added for behaviors, um, any health documents, that, uh, immunization records, if you want to take a look at that. Um, if your student doesn't know their lunch number, that's also in here. Um, that there's lots of information um, just in this portal um, that you can take a look at. Obviously, most importantly, parents are going to come here and look at grades, look at attendance, and maybe add some uh, money to lunch accounts. So that is the parent portal. I won't get into the student portal so, since I don't have an, a student portal. It looks a lot similar to this. Um, but that's how you find it on the website and um, how you can access different things on it. Thank you for watching.